tonight, we're hearing from a woman who says she was medically evacuated off the I-40 bridge when it was shut down earlier this month. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators blocked several lanes of the busy bridge for at least two hours. And tonight she's sharing her story with our WREG's Shea Arthur with more on what led to her medical emergency. Biden, Biden, pick a side! Biden, Biden, pick a side! Dozens of demonstrators on the I-40 bridge earlier this month calling for peace in the Middle East. Their protests halting traffic for at least two hours on the major interstate, stalling business as usual for thousands. They were holding us all hostage on this bridge. Our crew on the bridge during the demonstration captured this ambulance responding to a call, driving up the opposite side of traffic to make it to the person in need. This woman we talked to today is a truck driver with her husband. The couple was on their way from Missouri to Mississippi when they became caught in the protest. And for her, things turned south. She says doctors told her she had a severe stress anxiety attack after she was airlifted to the hospital. I was hurting so bad and I was having chest pains and I don't know when or who called for an ambulance. But I know it took them forever to get there, and it shouldn't have. She says she blacked out. I don't remember getting out of the truck, putting it, getting put into an ambulance. I don't remember a helicopter ride. The woman, who asked not to be identified, says she has a phobia of bridges. My brother was killed on a bridge, so that's what, the main reason I don't like bridges. She says being on the I-40 bridge for so long with unknown circumstances sent her into a tailspin. It scared me. It scared me pretty bad. When the cops showed up, you know, they'd clear people off, but they didn't. Since the protests this month, she hasn't been able to continue her job. So rattled and so scared. Our main concern is trying to get me back to where I will ride in a vehicle and be able to drive a vehicle. She wanted to share her experience so others know how it affected people. But I'm sure it caused problems for other people. If you want to protest, there's ways to do it, but to shut down an interstate and holding people hostage like that is wrong. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. I can tell you we did check with the Memphis Police Department and so far no one has been charged in relation to that disruptive demonstration. One